Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And there is a fountain full of grace that flows from Emmanuel's veins. Glory. Hallelujah. The precious blood of Jesus. Amen. That's washed our sins away. And you know, we can rejoice in the Lord. We can be glad in Him. Because you know what? We were once lost. And now we're found. We were once old sinners. But now we're saved by the precious blood of God. That's the only way that you can be saved. That your sins can be washed away. Is by the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is shed on an old rugged cross thousands of years ago. Jesus paid for them all. Paid for the sins of the whole world. Every sin, past, present, and future that could ever be sinned, Jesus has already paid for it. If you will receive him, he'll forgive you. If you'll repent of your sins, he'll forgive you. He'll wash your sins away and he'll bring you into the kingdom of God to be an heir with him, a joint heir with him. And all that heaven holds can be yours. He'll bless you with every spiritual blessing. And you know what? He'll supply all of your need. And you know what? He will give you, he'll put his desires in your heart. And you could be a new creature in Christ Jesus. A new creature, a new species that's never been before. Christ was. When Christ was raised from the dead, the Bible says that he was the beginning of the creation of God. The beginning. The Bible calls him the beginning of the creation of God. A brand new species that's never been before. Praise God. Your spirit can be made alive because he quickens us. He can even quicken our mortal body. And not only with spiritual blessings, but with physical, material blessings. Praise God. Hallelujah. Absolutely. I know some people don't don't like that. But God knows what we have need of before we ask. And he promises that he'll supply it. And he has blessed us abundantly. The blessing of the Lord, the Bible says, makes rich. It's the blessing that makes rich. The blessing of the Lord, the Bible says, makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it. What are you talking about rich? I'm talking about having all sufficiency in all things. I'm not talking about just having a bunch of money and no peace, no love, no contentment. I'm talking about the Bible rich, having all sufficiency in all things, nothing missing, nothing lacking, and nothing broken. Praise God. That's rich. That's rich. I'm not talking about substance, but it includes substance. But I'm talking about having all sufficiency in all things, nothing missing, nothing lacking. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want or I shall not lack. And the Bible says no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly before him. Praise God. It says, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Eat the good of the land. Not the bad of the land, the good. Rich. Having all sufficiency in all things. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking. Because he is our good shepherd, and we shall not want. Hallelujah. 
Hope you know him today. This would be a perfect day to get to know him. Ask him into your life. Ask him into your heart. Believe in him.